Hey guys, uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, work through starting off creating your um, personalized keychain. Uh, so depending on which image you got, everybody got a different image. But I'm going to run through um, how to get started on it because everybody's pretty much going to start off the same way. So you have um, your sketch plane, right? So something like this. And uh, you want to start some sort of sketch in the sketch plane. Um, you guys are already familiar with starting that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to be working with the regular Cardinal logo that you guys see here in, in my in my screen on the left hand side, which I already have saved onto my computer. Um, you're going to have to download your images also, and then save those onto your computer as well, <coughs> because everybody's going to have something different at the end. So if I go back to uh, to my image and um, my part, and I want to go ahead and start that sketch. First thing you need to do is obviously uh, select which view you want to um, do the sketch on. Usually by default, I go with the front view. So you're gonna go ahead and sketch, um, select the front as the place where you wanna do that sketch. And then um, one of the tricks that you can do is you could actually overlap an image and you can use that image. So those of you that are thinking, how the heck am I supposed to make an actual cardinal? Um, you can actually insert an image and then overlap that image in order for you to be able to trace um, over that image. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this in this in this video. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. Make sure you're still in sketch mode. Um, it's going to give you an option that says insert image. So click on insert image. I already have my Cardinal logo imported, but if you don't have your uh, image imported, you're going to go ahead and go on the bottom. <coughs> Sorry, select import. And if you click on import, it would actually open up um, your your, your images from your computer and you can import whatever images you guys want, uh, wherever image you guys uh, got. Um, in this case, I'm going to just import this image, the Cardinal logo. Um, before I do that though, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> since I have my constraints that my keychain has to be only 1.5 by 2 inches, I'm going to be making a rectangle. Um, just make a regular rectangle wherever you would like. Uh, and I'm going to be um, constraining or dimensioning those extremes of that rectangle to 1.5 by 2 inches. That way, um, when I actually do my keychain, um, it doesn't go over that. So when I actually import my image, I'm going to just kind of overlay it on that rectangle and then go from there. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that insert image, which I had already imported as my Cardinal logo image. Um, wherever you guys would like in the middle of here, uh, you can go ahead and overlay it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pick kind of like the corner, but not quite just so it can go on top. And then you can set it down wherever you would like. If you're not uh, happy with the location, you can still move it around, kind of figure out where the center would be. And then once you have a pretty good idea where you want it, you can let it go. OK, now <clears throat> the image is overlaid on that surface. Um, and I can go ahead and just say, OK, I'm done with it for now. And I have this uh, this image, right? So it's just a flat surface. There's nothing really crazy here. This is where you can actually go go nuts and just kind of like um, do your own thing when it comes to actually um, creating the keychain. So you don't have to necessarily make it a specific kind. I'm just showing you like how, how you would go about doing it. So let's say, for example, I want to make it as like a basic keychain. Like I'm just going to make this extruded and just extrude it like a certain direction. And then, um, and that's pretty much it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to extrude it this way. I'm going to make this a thick enough keychain. I'm going to make it zero point. Uh, let's go with zero point three inches. So zero point three inches going inwards, and then call it a day. So there's my surface so far. Uh, but now my cardinal is gone. I want to be able to see that cardinal. So I'm going to make this sketch visible so that you're able to see it. Notice that I toggled on the left-hand side the little visibility icon for sketch one. So once I make that visible, okay, now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just kind of like trace it over um, according to your, so you have a bunch of different tools you could use. You have arcs that you can use. You have, um, you know, rectangle circles, whatever you can use. You're going to be using a lot of arcs and lines essentially. Um, but once you have that uh, where you want it, um, you can go ahead and start tracing uh, your image, basically. So you will start a new sketch. That new sketch will be on top of the face of that cardinal. And then um, you can modify it as you see fit. I'm not going to tell you what to do uh, after this, because basically it, it all has to do with you and your personal preference about how you're going to design this. OK, I'm going to leave that up to you. But um, I do want to you know, get you guys started on it so you can know how to start. And then from there, uh, the possibilities are endless. OK, good luck on the project, guys. If you have any questions, let me know.